And residents of a Lubbock County neighborhood will vote on whether to be annexed in the city limits. Some of those folks say they're running out of well water, and that's the problem. Being part of the city would solve that problem, mm -hmm. but not all their neighbors agree. KMX Juliana Washburn's here with we'll a look at the issue. Brian and Lauren, we're talking about the Highland Oaks neighborhood. Supporters say annexation would bring them city water resources that they need. They know it would come at a price, but it's worth it to them. A few neighbors, though, are on the fence about it, and some are completely against it. They don't want to pay for a problem that they don't have. We do not fit in their equation. We do not belong in their equation. We don't want to be part of their equation. Belinda Kay is worried about what would happen if her home is annexed into the city. We don't have a water issue. We don't want to be annexed into the city and have city taxes and more utility bills and then a 20-year, $30,000 PID. I need my money for other things. 65 years old, our health is coming into play. I need it for other things. So she's making her voice heard. She doesn't have a water issue and doesn't want to pay the price of coming into the city. And I certainly don't like dishing out my hard-earned money when there is not one benefit coming into my home or to my family. Others saying they're running out of water and don't see a choice other than annexation. I started about 12 gallons a minute. Now I have drilled two more wells I have, about six gallons with three wells. I don't think there really is another alternative but other than annexation. Both sides hoping for a solution. I feel like this burden may force me to sell the home that I love to sell the home that I love on the property that I love in the development that I love in the area that I love because you can't keep putting additional financial burdens on the laps of innocent people. The vote on whether Highland Oaks is annexed into the city or not will be on the ballot this upcoming election for Highland Oaks residents only. Early voting starts October 21st and election day is November 5th.